Hello, my lovelies die here, and welcome back to another episode of Maze. We are continuing on from our last episode, walking through the sewer system issues, whatever, in the underground facility. And now we have our nuclear rod, and we're going to figure out what we need to do with this. Uh, do we want to go there? Or do we want to go up there? Let's go through here first. And see where this kind of takes us. And now we are in another lobby. What is this? Bob P. McTavish Honorary Lobby. He gave himself another lobby? Oh my god, the amount of money that this guy wastes. Bob, I noticed this flyer and assumed that this was your work, so I will remind you, pools are not safe to hold chemical waste. Why did you order one? Stupid. Oh my god, he ordered a pool? A pool flyer? The flyer for Paul's Pools and Pest Removal advises big savings for orders within a 20 mile radius of the shop, along with a free extermination of one pest. The cheapest pool in the flyer has been circled several times in red pen. Oh my god. Oh, oh Bob. Bob, you buffoon, why is there a lobby here and what happened to the decontamination room? Oh my god, he tore down the decontamination room? Hiya, Ted. Pretty sure I told you. Did a little rework here. Think this will be a real high traffic spot for the tour. Gonna be a real moneymaker. Words fail me, idiot. And stop it with the statues. <laughs> Big capital letters. <laughs> oh my god. This time it's two. One statue and two big face paintings. Oh, reactor control. All right, what's this? We've got a coffee maker. You took this not because you want to make coffee, but that you heard the coffee machines grant you one wish. After much thought, you wished for coffee. It didn't come true. <laughs> what? What? I don't... Okay. Okay. What do we get this time? A lobby brochure. A brochure for a company whose main goal is to fulfill all of your low to mid-level lobby needs. On the back, one design in particular is circled in red pen, the cheapest one. The company tagline reads, Waiting never felt so good. The Nuclear Meltdown Prevention 5th Edition. What? <laughs> None of that even- All of those words are spelt wrong. <laughs> This is quite possibly the worst written book of guidelines in the history of time. None of the guidelines make sense, and the instructional drawings all consist of a stick person running away from a large fire. <laughs> okay. Restart the nuclear reactor. Yeah, I got this rod. What do I do with the rod? Bob, I have made this map so our staff can restart the bargain basement reactor you ordered without blowing us all to kingdom come. Do you me a favor and don't come anywhere near it, moron. <laughs> oh god, Bob, what did you do? Ted, Ted, I solved your maze. It took me a while, but I got it in the end. What? Oh my god. Bob, how are you this stupid? Did you get your doctorate out of a cereal box? That's a really good question, Ted. All right, let's Try go. Try not to be an idiot in there. It would be very bad. Let me stay here in what? case you do something stupid. Why? I'm not going to do anything stupid. What's down here? Oh, power plant entry. Whoa, it's like real crazy in here. Reserve power mode active. What's this? Containing control. Oh shit! Oh my god, I can't see and I don't even know if I'm going the right way. No, they can't go that way. I'm pretty sure it's gonna blow up. I hate mazes. <laughs> Especially when my life is on the line. What is this? The fuel rod goes in here? Now run back and hit the button before you blow up? Oh my god. Music is so great right now. I'm so pumped. I feel like I'm in a Tron video. <laughs> Completely completed the horribly unsafe full rod installation procedure. Hey, and I had 51 seconds to spare. So can I turn this on now? 
Where's that button? There it is. Woo! Restarted the worst nuclear reactor in the world. Now what? Facility power status, okay. All right, so I gave the facility its power back. Not sure how helpful that is. It's too dark in here. I can't see a thing. Perhaps oh, it's those dudes again. Oh, don't be ridiculous. This is a perfectly nice place to stand. Well, I can't argue with that logic. Neither can I. What? Okay, okay. You guys are so weird, the three of you. All right, let's open up this door and see where it takes me. What is uh, this stupid thing? What is this? Control console slot. All right, I gotta find something and put it in there. Ooh, a new rock. This rock has no idea whether it is a rock or a facility of a rock, an amalgamation of many rocks or a non-rock. By picking it up, you have undone all of its conclusions about the world up to this point, and you have named it Wallace. Chauncey, Mabel, and Wallace. Those are the names of my rocks. All right, well, I can't do anything in here yet, so that's a little disconcerting, and there really isn't anything else in here. But I can't open up the other place without- Oh, there's a little Again loose green! Get in there, Vladdy. Don't bitch, just do. Uh, what is Vladdy doing here? Is this know. Vladdy's purpose? Yep. Crawling <clears throat> and climbing through stupid <clears throat> junk to yep. get <clears throat> more stupid junk? Yep. And for what? This stupid garbage? This is useless! No use! No purpose! Just more garbage! Garbage for idiots! Always... Oh, poor garbage. Vladdy. It's not garbage. I'm gonna use it. Hope this garbage worth Vladdy's suffering. But I already know the answer. No! Because it's garbage! I mean, uh, garbage is worth your suffering to next? me. You're so sassy. You're a sassy, sassy man. Vladdy is starting to hate vents. Well, you know what? Not my problem. So, this is what stupid thing does? Vladdy still think it garbage. No, I don't. That thing you do is important, probably. Well, I was told I needed to put the three rings in the sky. So there's one ring. Oh, now I get to pick up the door wheel, and then so we can garbage. go back to the other door. And then be able to open up that. I think that's going to put up another ring. And then that's going to leave us with one ring to get, I guess. We're going to find out. Alright, let's uh, stick this in. Okay, so are we on the other side? We can't get, there's boxes there. What do we have here? A little button. Initiate hook activation. So there's our other ring. No, it's up in the sky. That does not sound good. Oh shit, it broke. Chitanya Vesilo. Why is this place so stupid? Nothing works, idiot American machines. Um... Well done, idiot. Breaking it will help. Stupid. You should take that dumb PC if you can fix it. Uh-oh. Now I'm gonna have to fix this. A new path has opened to you. Head back to the communal grotto and down to level two. Alright, well, it's looking like I can't do anything with that. Let's, uh, run over here, though. Where does this take us? Oh, there's a... We need to get a little ladder, a little step ladder, so we can get up those stairs. Oh, look, the boxes are here. It's making us go this way. <laughs> oh, oh, sh that scared me. <laughs> I forgot I had put that there. Let Another fucking Bobby. Very dark, then stupid Bobby, stupid dummy. Box, Why you commission that sad. artist now, to make these maps is beyond me. They are unreadable. Everyone is going to get lost down here. Oh my god, you are here. <laughs> Another Bob lobby. Oh, what's this? 
a lazy novel. After an unexpected hit, the maligned author was forced to write a sequel. This time, he saved everyone the trouble of reading the book altogether and revealed the killer on the back flap. The novel actually chronicles the detective's struggle to return a pair of defective pants. Oh man, McMurphy, you're an amazing author. Bob, I don't care how good a deal you got, no more lobbies. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, so we found the meeting room. Oh! Hey, this is where that tall motherfucker was. Stupid. That's a lot of bottles of wine. I'm gonna take this red marker. You mistakenly thought this was a blue marker, but you don't want to put it back down lest you hurt its feelings. Instead, you will draw a face on something with it because you know it likes to do that. Alright, so I have a marker. My god, Bob, what is this? There is no way in any conceivable universe that we can turn this facility into a resort. Stop it, you dummy. Oh my god. He did not try to turn this. Oh my gosh. Theme park and casino construction outline? What the fuck, Bob? A very slick looking proposal to rework the facility into a high end theme park and casino resort. Has a lot of pleasing looking graphs pointing upwards, so you know for sure that's a good idea. Some notable attractions include Vatland, Genetics Kingdom, and Kitchen. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, Bob. Water cooler. Wow, I'm just going to take the whole water cooler? You were mistakenly trying to pick up something else, but now you are in possession of an entire water cooler. You were too stubborn to put it down, so you're going to find a use for it, carrying it everywhere you go. You didn't even empty out the water. <laughs> and yet, we couldn't lift that five-pound dumbbell more than twice. Maybe carrying it with us this whole time has strengthened us. Oh, what do we got here? Hiya, Ted! Since you're so worried about security, I did you a favor and beefed up the doors to your room. You're absolutely welcome, Bob. <laughs> Bob, you jerk. I can't even get into my room because of these stupid discount security measures. Fix it. I'm sick of sleeping in the grotto. Cordially, Ted. Initiate security check. Oh, I can't do it yet. Um, okay, well, I can put the water cooler there. Looks like I'm going to have to... I have to draw Ted? It's looking like I'm going to have to draw Ted. A rocky rock. Now, this is a rock that knows its place in the world. Unquestioning, unwavering, happy, and basking in its complete and utter rockiness. You have named it Shelby. Welcome to the family, Shelby. Oh, shit. Whose desk is that down there? That's so cool. Whoa. Didn't even see you three. Hey, guys. I need to get over here. I'm gonna take this sturdy box. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a statue of Ted now. So, Bob, what do you think of this? See what you have driven me to? Jerk. <laughs> Hiya, Ted. This is great. Really excited to see you getting into the spirit of things. Added one of mine so we could be side by side. Really think it balances the space well. Bob. <laughs> he made his so much bigger. <laughs> <laughs> that fucker. He, oh my god, Bob is the absolute worst. Okay, what's down here? Pop, lots and lots of pop, and blocked. Level 3 checkpoint, can't get there. What is this? Oh my god, is this, is this his room? Get all of the, what is this, pruning shears? Bob bought these to help maintain the large number of plants that decorated the facility. The small fact that they were plastic and didn't need any maintenance didn't deter him in the least. Oh my god. Bob has no self-control. That is basically what I'm learning here. So, it's looking like I need to be able to pick up a plant and some sort of ball thing. Fuck. Capuchin treats? Does he... Is there a pet? There's a pet somewhere. Bob's journal. Oh my god, this might be good. Written entirely in red pen, it isn't so much a journal as it is a mindscape with occasional pictures. Massive, ambitious plans are written down and abandoned midway through inception and sometimes mid-sentence. I'm not, I'm not shocked by this. I don't think Bob ever had a thought that lasted. He's very impulsive. 
Oh my god. Look at this mess. Capuchin treats. Monkey treats. Bob mistakenly thought that capuchin was another word for delicacy and ordered thousands of boxes to snack on. When he was told that the snacks were in fact for monkeys, he ate them anyways. Oh my god. Bob, you son of a bitch. A navigational chart. It's a small navigational chart of the Pacific Ocean with a very peculiar course plotted from the United States to an island in the middle of the ocean. The course has more in common with the movements of a small fry than any nautical vessel. It's apparently part of an operational subaquanium evidir. I can't even pronounce any of that. But owing to your poor understanding of all languages, you mistakenly think that it's a chain restaurant specialized in an Italian cuisine. <laughs> wow. I like Bob's little drawing. Everything in red pen is Bob. I think we already knew that, but... Oh, that was a... Look at this little... The Patari. <laughs> oh, classic. What's this? More statues. Bought in bulk and commissioned in a variety of materials, Bob seems to have ordered more statues than can possibly be fit in the facility. Due to this, a statue storage fee is also included. He did indeed get a discount, but the cost is so outlandish in the first place that the missing zero is barely noticeable. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Hey, look at this fancy bathroom. Hey, shower, what's up? Oh, I can't get, I can't even get in you. And then there's some sort of... Old toilet seat. All right. Well, I can't interact with anything in the bathroom, and I find that to be a little weird. And I also haven't been able to find any plants. I don't know what goes here. All right, we're in the kitchen. This place is messy. Oh man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. A plastic plant. so many useless things, idiot. They're not useless. They're not. Useless. You think they're useless, but they are not. Oh, hey. A locked kitchen can only be opened from kitchen. How do I get in there? Hey, you. You bear. Can you sneak in here? You'd think this particular plastic plant was perfect if not for the garnish pot it was attached to. I have an unnatural hatred for clay pots of every size, shape, and color. Interesting. Um, Bob, where is that idiot from Nando hiding? I told him to refill the coffee trolley with Ranka weeks ago. If you find him, put him to work and do some yourself, buffoon. Oh, Fernando's dead. I'm not sure at what point in the timeline he died, but Fernando's dead. A workplace readiness report. Giving up on the corn's ability to be weaponized on any level, the scientists attempted to see if they could be used in a general workplace. They weren't, opting to take naps instead. However, the corn did display a fondness for stacking orange boxes, which they did so every chance they could, the goal of which seeming to be directing the, resor the researchers to do whatever they wanted. Oh. So the corn is putting the boxes in my way. I... No, I can't. I'm still missing something. Maybe... I have to, like... This goes here. Oh! Okay. So I trimmed the plant. Now I need bowl. I need a new bowl. Okay, guys, I think we're going to end our episode here. We kind of achieved a lot. We put the two rings up into the sky. Well, one of them broke and fell back down, so we're trying to fix that. Right now, I'm trying to get into Ted's room, but I need to find a bowl, I think. And we're just going to have to do a little bit more exploring. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like this video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. And I look forward to learning how much more of an idiot Bob is in our next one.